I live in Queens, New York. Yeah. And I have a 600 square foot studio apartment. It's 300 by two. It's a converted hallway. And I used to hate the place until I got a flat screen TV. And now I'm like, all right, I have a great life. And that's what I do. I just sit there and yell at my TV. I am getting older. That's what we do. I yell at my TV. And that used to concern me. And now it no longer concerns me, which kind of concerns me. I should worry about the fact that I yell back at my TV. And you know what kills me? It's the late night advertising that gets you. Like late at night, they know that we're trying to sleep to the TV. We want to nod off. So the advertisers, they amp up their volume and they yell at you through the TV. I had a guy the other night, he's yelling at me, he's going, people just like you are making hundreds of thousands of dollars in their spare time. You know what? If I was making $100,000 in my spare time, I would go full time. <laughs> I'm amazed they haven't thought of that so far. You can practically hear the arguments around the house. Hey, honey, you know that little thing you do for about four hours every week that allowed us to pay off the debt and buy that 47-foot boat? Have you thought of kicking that up a notch? <laughs> what, and quit my pizza delivery job? You're crazy, woman. <laughs> then he goes, at one point, I was making $50,000 a week out of a one-bedroom apartment. Then move. <laughs> there should not be a week two <laughs> in that scenario. It's Sunday night. You have $50,000. Break your lease. <laughs> Go to a two-bedroom you might double your money. Maybe that's a secret. The more bedrooms you have, the more money you can expect to make. Right now, I'm living in a 73 bedroom apartment. 73 bedroom, two and a half bath. That's all they do. They advertise anything late at night. Like I saw one not too long ago for hangers. They're advertising hangers on TV. From what I could tell, there's been some kind of a breakthrough. <laughs> it's a whole new world of hanger out there. And they always have to show you the old method. Are you tired of those old style hangers? <laughs> There's shirts and hangers everywhere. How does it work? <laughs> they do that with all the products. They always have to show you the old method that no longer works. I saw one recently, they have this new product out, it's for earwax removal. It's like a vacuum cleaner for your ears, and they have to show you the old method that no longer works. So they use the guy who stands in front of the mirror with a Q-tip, ow, <laughs> ow. He puts a little hop into it, ow. Now, I've been Q-tipping on my own <laughs> since I was five. I've never done it with that much fervor. <laughs> and I've never experienced, ow! I've even run out of Q-tips, temporarily switched over to a pen cap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And still haven't had, ow! If you're having trouble with a Q-tip, Good luck with the rest of your day. <laughs> Are those stairs? <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Oh, I see it now. It's a pattern <laughs> of out and down and out and down. This guy probably spends about three days a week in the emergency room. What was it this time? Toenail clippers. <laughs> He has no depth perception. <laughs> so that's what I do, I yell at advertising. You know, it's great, half the ads on TV now are for pickup trucks. Have you noticed that? And first of all, 
Is it ever not truck month? <laughs> it's always truck month. I sit there watching these pickup truck guys. First of all, it's the same guy all the time. It's like, if you don't buy this truck, you ain't much of a man. There's all kinds of sparks going off in the background, steel banging against steel, all kinds of gravel and dust and slow motion handshakes with more man dust coming off. <laughs> and I sit there watching these ads going, are we having that much of a boulder problem in this country? <laughs> All they do is move boulders, usually from one pickup truck ad to the other. I'm like, I know that boulder from the Ram ad that I saw three truck months ago. <laughs> and it's nice to know that if you buy one of those trucks, you will have the capability of being able to tow a cruise ship up the side of a mountain. 